So thank you, Alan, for taking the time to talk about the movie that I absolutely love. And I have a, I'm running right now a campaign, so everybody gonna wa wants to watch it and is gonna watch it. And congratulations, and you killed it. You killed it on the roll. So great, congratulations, thank and thank you. So um, obviously, I'm, I'm I'm coming to you live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, just so you know. Yeah, and, yeah and, love it, and, baby. We are absolutely, I mean, absolutely proud of what you did on the movie. I mean, that was so amazing. I don't even know how you have time for everything that you do, just to also do acting and, yeah. and, and, and so and so. But I gotta ask, when you read the script, and, and this is the only thing that I'll be away, and you, you understood that you're gonna survive this chaos, were yeah. you surprised that, uh, one, understanding Big Mac being so, you know, so crazy, did you were surprised that, that with the ending of, of what Big, Big, with Big Mac? Listen, you know, that was uh, definitely um, a plus. <laughs> it's definitely a plus, you know, uh, even though it's sometimes fun to have those kind of death scenes in movies, but uh, it definitely cool to kind of uh, be a hero at the end of the day and survive and, and help uh, us succeed in this particular space. That was really awesome, honestly. Okay, so... Besides Big Mac being Puerto Rican, mm. obviously, I wonder what what from the script was something what we we saw you following the script or what was you just basically trying to put something of you in oh, the story? Oh, the, the improv. Well, yeah, that's 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 in there a lot. Um, a lot of it is a script, but often it's a combination of the two. Um, where when it comes to comedy, I may say something twice in. Uh, I have to say something different the third time in order to keep that, keep it fresh. So it's a combination of, uh, of the two. When you see Big Mac on screen is some, some of the, some of his dialogue, some of his improv, um, but all from the core of the script though. You, you absolutely bring the, you know, the comedic touch to the, to the, to the, to the, the movie, but it also is really serious, a serious topic. And, and I, what I love what I love about it, it was a combination of, of Jordan Peele meets uh, Sam Raimi, which I'm a yeah. fan of both of them, obviously. Um, when you read the script, how important was to you, uh, you know, to be, to be a, a, a comedian, but also to maintain that 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 you know seriousness behind the story? Yeah, it's it was a a, a line that I had to definitely dance on, where you didn't want it to be too big and too over the top, and take out the um, you know, the realism of what are the severity of what we're talking about as well. So it was definitely a balance, uh, finding those moments and not doing too much. So, uh, you know, kudos to uh, Diego, our director, for making sure that we we stayed in that line. And we, we, we you know, follow up to that question. I, and I, I talked to Bella, so I want to know if you are, the two of you are in the same, in this, connected in the same line. I wonder in what specific scene comes to mind that you were, you guys were trying to, you're shooting, you were trying to shoot, and 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 then you, uh, none of you could keep a straight face because how 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 fun was it? Which one comes to mind? Ah oh, man, it's a, it's a bunch of it, but I guess I'll say the one for me that I was at the uh, the I guess the losing end of the stick is usually I'm the one cracking the jokes. Um, I I fell asleep in the middle of a stunt. <laughs> Now, um, I, I do have to mention that I was training for a marathon while filming this. So we would film 14 hour days and I would go run five miles afterwards, no matter what time it was, whether it was two o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the afternoon, I was I was running it. So I would find that I would in between takes, I took as many naps as I could. Uh, this particular stunt in the film movie, I ended up on the floor. And uh, I woke up with the entire crew taking a picture around me sleep. So that was <laughs> so that was probably the uh, the day that we just couldn't contain ourselves. That, that's that's hilarious. I wish I could have like a, a, a picture of that so I could put it on <laughs> just to put it out there. Um, you have done so much. I mean, we are all really proud of you. I think you should be proud of yourself for, mm -hmm. for everything that you have done. How do you balance everything, TV, movie, and understanding, obviously, what you said, balancing realism with comedy, understanding mm. your, your role? What, how, how do you keep yourself just you know, grounded? Um, 
to know that uh, acting is what I do and not who I am. Um, now, who I am is an artist. I am, I'm, an, I'm an artist through and through. So actually doing the, the actions or the work um, is like asking a fish why it swims. Like, it's just a part of my nature. I just was built for this uh, um, to be able to do all the things that I was, I'm doing. Um, it's, it's really just breathing to me. If I, if I wasn't doing all the things that I was, I'm doing, I probably would suffocate. Like I wouldn't know how to even function. So um, it's a part, I, it, maybe it's ADHD. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I like to, I like to be busy. I like to have a lot of things going at once. It makes me actually feel calm. You're preaching to the choir here. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> that's it. we all we all Boricuas have. We all have to be. Yeah. We all have, suffer from ADHD. I have to be doing a lot of stuff. That's that's also who I am. I uh, one for one. I got one more question. But one more one more question before we go to the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could switch place, understanding the story and where it goes and where the characters go. If you could switch roles with another castmate, which one would you choose and why? I mean, that's hard because I, I like Big Mac is usually like I, I'm in love with my character and how he how he comes out on this one, man. I don't know if I want to be nobody else. <laughs> to be totally honest, uh, man. Yeah, because everybody else kind of end up kind of. Yeah, I'm going to stay true to Big Mac. I'm going to say I'm going to stay pat. I'm, I'm going to just I'm going to be content. <laughs> I have to add that. I, I, I knew you were gonna say that, but I had to ask the question because I wanted to put you on the spot. It's like yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna change. I yeah, no, 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 come no. on. What's, what's wrong with you? Come on. Yeah. I mean, um, one final question before I let you go. This is really, really fun interview. <laughs> um, I, I this is obviously the social commentary is so big on this on this on this movie, but it's also really fun and and entertaining and I mean, I think what you all did, what when the directors did, was so great. But what what can when, what do you want people to take away from the story, and what can you expect them? You know, what can they expect from the from the movie as a whole? Put a put a face, put a personality, put a um, memorable moment in your head associated with the word immigrants. Um, I've been saying it all day. It's just I think that when you when you hear immigrant, you often speak of it. The tone is also often delivered that it's a thing and not a human being, not a person with feelings and emotions. And um, this particular film, you get a group of immigrants that you can tie and have an emotional connection with that. Um, you now have a face to go on when you hear and you see all these issues with immigration. It, it, it's a little closer. So in doing it in this entertaining way, we, it's, it's trying to open up space in people's hearts who don't really see immigration as a problem or an issue or may not even know what it is. But to now see a human, associate a human being with it, um, you, it, 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 it makes it a little tougher to make, it just makes it a little tougher on individuals that don't want to see. And I think that's what stories like this, we, we help the cause in a different way um, and hopefully spark the seed of the individuals and the people and the things that will ultimately result in a better way we handle immigration. Yes, really. I mean, that's, that's what I saw, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, before I let you go, I got to tell you, when I published my, my review for the movie, everybody was, uh, I, I raved a lot about you. I, 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 I told it on the, inter on the, on the review that you are, you, your performance was the one that stood out to me. The uh, most, so congratulations you. on that. But then I got a bunch of comments that <laughs> everybody told me, like, you got to see him in heel. So uh, <laughs> you you're blowing you're blowing up. So congratulations on all your success. Thank you. You're doing Thank great. So thank you, man. yeah, but definitely check out Hills, man. It's a, it's a good show. Thank you, sir.